it's very rare to get business owners to take some time away from the hustle and bustle to just reflect on their business journey but that's exactly why we're here today i'm going to be speaking to via footwear ceo and founder temba makamo to tell us just some learnings about his businesses so that you too can get something out of that conversation Who'd have guessed South Africa ranks third amongst the top footwear exports on the African continent? If anyone doubted it, Mzansi loves footwear and our sneaker culture is strong. But what makes a journalist venture into the country's overcrowded sneaker market, especially after falling finance first with his first business venture? You started as a journalist. What comes to mind? Yo, the ultimate, <coughs> it's the ultimate goal, you know, to get to a position where you can have time for yourself, be able to reflect on things and, you know, just being in such a surrounding, already the energy just brings in ideas and, you know, you get to take everything in. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a really good. It wasn't easy though, correct? No. It wasn't an easy journey? No. What no. were the lessons? Ah, it's been a lot of lessons. You know, being an entrepreneur, um, every part of the journey, there's something new that you're learning. Even when you think I've learned it all, there's something that comes up that's new. So in my journey, there's been so many lessons. Um, from the beginning, you know, when you start out in entrepreneurship, the main goal you want to solve, you want to you wanna make money. That's the ultimate thing. You just want to make money. But as you go along, you realize that it's bigger than that, that there has to be a calling behind it, that what you're doing means something to someone else, that you're empowering people, that you're creating opportunities. So just that alone, you, just, you start learning about purpose, that it's not just about doing business, selling for a rent, you know, buying for a rent and selling for two. You, you are actually creating employment. You're doing this out of uh, a, a, a bigger, there's a bigger picture behind it. Yeah. Did you ever feel like giving up? Many times, plenty of times. <laughs> it's it's it's. There's times where you're so depressed and you think, you know what? Why am I even doing this? Why am I continuing? So that's when the the the, the purpose thing has to come in and kick in and say, there's a reason behind. There's a why. Your your why has to be really really big. So there's been times where I've been so down, but I always remind myself of. Why did I begin this journey? And that lifts me up and, you know, keeps me going. And, and so what was your why? What is your current why? My biggest why has been, you know, if, if, if I look at my life and I look at where I come from, and that has to be the biggest why, because I come from a big family and I come from a, a really impoverished background in terms of the township. So looking at the kids that are still in, the, in that same state that I was in, you know, I always, I'm always encouraged to say, you know what, what I'm doing means something to those kids because it can inspire them to, to build and really move out of the situation as I have. So that, to me, is the biggest why. Looking at my background and looking where, I'm come from, where I come from really inspires me to just keep going. If you had to do it all over again, what would you do differently? Um, I think the first thing would be, you know, to focus on purpose. For me, that's the ultimate thing because before I used to bounce around a lot of businesses. I did, a, I tried a lot of things and I failed in a lot of things. You were looking for money. <laughs> I was looking for money. It was just the chase. And But when I look back now, I realize that I should have just focused on finding out who I am. Why am I here? And from there, act from that, you know, just use that information to say, okay, so if I find out what's my purpose in this life, what can I do and what can I contribute to the world? So that I would do differently, definitely. But in terms of the lessons, though, uh, with the bouncing around and, and making mistakes and failing, I wouldn't change a thing because it's what made me who I am today. So, so it, it has been an incredible journey in that aspect, in terms of the learnings and, and gaining all of those lessons. Do you want to share some of those lessons? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, when I, I was starting out, I remember I quit my job and I was just so excited and, you know, just thinking this thing is going to be, you know, easygoing. 
And the first lesson that I, I, I learned is you need mentors. You know, you need mentorship. When you go out there, there's people that have been through the same journey that you're going through and they know better than you. So I made a lot of mistakes because I didn't seek mentors first. That was the first lesson that I learned that I should have just found people that I could surround myself with, you know, bounce off ideas, bounce off things and learn from them. And that would, for me, that would be like the first key lesson I would even share to someone to say, look for people that are doing what you're doing, even if they're not doing exactly what you're doing, but if they've gone through the journey, they are able to teach you some of the things, you know, that you want to face. And then there's you putting everything you have in this business, right? And falling, getting up again, and so on. And then outside factors come in, like COVID. Yeah. How did you stand sturdy in that kind of a storm? When COVID hit, it was panic time. Because when you're an entrepreneur, everything is so dependent on you. I remember when, when COVID hit, it was, you, you're thinking, how am I going to survive this? What am I going to do? But as an entrepreneur, there's something that you develop. There's an instinct that just kicks in to say, instead of looking at the problems, look at the opportunity. And how I managed to maneuver through that period was, I said, here is an opportunity to communicate directly to our customers, to speak to someone because now they have time and they're sitting at home and they're not doing anything. They're focused on their phones. That for me was the game changer because now content became the key. And that's how actually VIA was launched because we had people's attention at that time and we could pile on information and tell our story and really establish ourselves. And I think for, for us, for COVID, for me, it was a, it turned out, first it started looking like it was going to be a disaster, but eventually it became an opportunity that we really took, took, you know, for ourselves. How do you support people around you who look to you in the middle of a crisis that, that's 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 true because it's hard you know th the thing about entrepreneurship you become not only a you're not just a business leader you're like a father and you know when when you go to your father you don't expect him to not know things you know i've got a child and whenever she comes and asks me questions you can see the expectation is that he knows he knows the thing and it's the same with being an entrepreneur when 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 the going gets tough everybody looks to you for answers and sometimes you don't even have the answers but you've got to come up with something and that has been very tough because you you constantly have to educate yourself to always make sure that you bring in that positive you know environment that people can thrive and feel that we're gonna make it through whatever storm that we face but it's not easy it's not easy and who supports the supporter <laughs> And uh, for me, it has been the faith. faith has been a key thing. My faith, I'm anchored in really in faith, and I look towards you know the the the, the book of life. I I really really looked into I look into uh, uh, Jesus and Christianity, and that has been anchored in me because you need something to lean on. And when the going gets tough, I always ask God. I always pray. I pray a lot to say, God, guide me in this journey. Show me. You know, or bring in the right people that I can, I can, I can get the right information to be able to maneuver through any type of situation. So we look at you now and we think you've made it. I bet you don't think you've made it. <laughs> Where are you headed? Um, the world. You know, I think ultimately, um, the greatest thing that you could ever achieve in, as an entrepreneur, for me, in my story or in my journey, is to see other people you know, succeeding as a result of your actions. So if I've come up with an idea and then I see someone else, you know, making it in life, whether they're buying a car, whether they're buying a house or whether they're able to start a career or grow in the business. But that for me is ultimately the goal to see more people empowered. If I see more people from my community empowered, I really, really take pleasure out of that. So I would love to have more people employed more people given opportunities. I mean, I get the sense that it's about the people. Yeah. It's about us, the customer. It's about the people that work with you. It's about the people that you inspire and that inspire you. Definitely. It's, for me, it's like, a, when I look at it from a perspective of a tree, a fruit tree, you know, a fruit tree produces good foods, nice foods to consume and all that, but it doesn't consume its own trees. A tree produces fruits for others to enjoy. 
So whatever talent or gift that I have is really not for me. If, if I start a business, yes, I'm happy that I'm empowered through it, but it's for other people. It's for other people to be empowered and for other people. So even the customers, it, they're the very most central, important part of the business because without them, there is no business. So, so yes, uh, for me, it's always about what can I do for the other person to empower them? And I think because of the lessons in life, that's how you get empowered because when you empower others. It's such an incredible journey that you've had as an entrepreneur. So your key takeaway points out of all of these experiences, mm. for someone listening to you right now mm. who wants to start, who's failing and failing over and over again, what are the lessons, the key lessons that you can take away from your own journey to share with other people? Yeah, there's so many. There's so many. But I would start with the one that is now central to my journey, um, which is understanding your purpose. So that's the first one for me because I keep on repeating it because what I've seen, it has made the difference. You know, if, um, if you buy a cell phone um, and, 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 and it has problems, right? The best person or the best place to take it back to is the manufacturer because the manufacturer knows what's inside that cell phone. He knows how he programmed that cell phone. So, so basically what that means is as a person, whoever created you, created you with a purpose and he understands you better than you understand yourself. So you have to first find out why were you created, you know, and who created you with what purpose in mind. So that for me is the first lesson to go back to the creator and say, why am I here? Why, why, why did you create me? And what's my purpose? And that's the first one. And secondly, um, then you have to have knowledge. Um, a lot of times we pray, if we, we pray for things, we pray for this, but I think one of the biggest and most important prayer that you have to pray is the prayer for wisdom, you know, to have the right knowledge because you may have knowledge, but it might be the wrong knowledge for what you want to do. So one of the lessons for me is if you're going into business, get the right knowledge. And where do you get that? You get that from people. And luckily these days we have the internet. So it makes things easier to find more information. It's one of those key lessons that I've learned, you know, get yourself, you know, get yourself, edu educate your skill or educate your passion. It, it, it allows you to excel. It makes things much more easier. Um, and I'll end off with the one that I mentioned earlier, which is mentorship. Mentorship for me is also key. Finding the right people, you know, to accompany you in this journey. Somebody has to hold your hand, you know. You really have to ask those that are in front of you. I know some people will say, hey, people are stingy with knowledge, but it's not the case. The people that I've met are hungry to share more of their lessons. It's just maybe a manner of approach and how you approach it. If you approach them with that mindset of, I'm open to learning, I would love to know more. People really respond to someone that is hungry for, for knowledge, hungry for self-improvement, hungry for growth. They'll share as much as they can because they, most people's journeys, they also got it from someone mm -hmm. like me. I'm happy to reveal anything to anyone that I've learned from someone else that has also worked for me. Mm. So those three things for me are really those things that come up right now. There's other ones, but those ones are really central to my journey. What a journey it's been. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for being so generous with your story. Thank um, you. Because exactly, it's exactly that, you know, people fail mm. and think that's the end. Mm. But your story tells us that you can fail and fail and fail again and still make it in the end.